As we go through life, one challenge we all have to face is with weariness. It's easy to get tired. Weary means to lose your sense of pleasure, to not feel the enjoyment that you should. You can be raising great children, but because you're weary, you're not enjoying them. You can have the job of your dreams. You worked hard to get it, but now weariness has set in. You're not passionate about it anymore. Sometimes, because the battle is taking longer than we thought, we become weary. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are gonna leave a mark. The mark that they leave can be the mark of victory, or it can be the mark of defeat. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. And I pose this to you. The question was, where have you been? Why are you here? And where are you going? And that's what I ask you. Where have you been? Where have you been up to this point? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you evading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Imagine if you got what you want every time. No struggle. No hard work, no challenges, no hard work required. Some of you are saying that would be great. You would be weak. And then when something hard comes up in your life, you wouldn't know how to handle it because you have never gone through anything that strengthens you. You cannot grow without struggle. You cannot develop strength without resistance, without challenging yourself, without struggle. Think about your own life. I know there have been areas in your life where some point in time you just shifted and you raised the standard and your life changed. Because whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. We live who we believe we are. Self-confidence also comes from the ability to rise above your circumstances. To rise above what happens, the petty little things the discouraging things that would sink everyone else's ship except you. It would cause someone else to quit early in the day, but you keep going. That kind of willingness to overcome all circumstances. Your why? Your why is gonna push you when you can't push yourself. When you wanna quit and give up, your why is gonna give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? If you want to begin to make your stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. What is important is that you don't let yourself down. Have inner integrity. If you tell yourself you will do something, do it. If you try and fail, try again. Yes, we're tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. Victor Hugo said, adversity makes men, prosperity makes monsters. You're born a lump of flesh, you can't hold your own head up. You may have predispositions, but that is a long way from actually crafting your ability until the point where it looks like magic. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. 
failure is important. You need failure in order to succeed. And that's the beauty. That's the beautiful thing about being a human. We are so plastic and we can change so dramatically. We are so good at adapting that we forget. That's literally what we do. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. With nothing else changing around you, nothing but you deciding that you're going to focus on the things you're grateful for. The people that are going to make it in the future, the people that are making it today, let me share something with you. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. Of course, you've got to imitate before you innovate, but always with your own fingerprint, always thinking in terms of how am I going to bring something unique, my unique song. My unique song, my unique fingerprint. What matters is how much are you willing to learn? How good are you willing to get? How much knowledge are you willing to soak in? Because that will become your weapon. That will be how you rise up and that will be the thing that will protect you when you need it most. My unique vibration. How am I going to deliver that to the planet as a gift? You're a gift. Every single one of us is a gift. How are you going to exercise and share your gift? Effort has to be incisive in the sense. It should be focused, calibrated. Simply if you make effort, it's foolish effort, isn't it? Just labor is not going to get you somewhere right kind of action, the right timing, right place, all this is important, isn't it? So, for all these things to happen, you need perception and intelligence. So that's all you must do in your life, constantly looking for ways to enhance your perception and your intelligence. The rest will anyway happen. This is one thing that unfortunately humanity is not doing. They are trying to become capable of something. Do not try to become capable of something. Just enhance your perception and intelligence.